Alright guys, uh, we're back with Windows 10, the new build, uh, build 14926. So if you go to uh, System About, uh, build, uh, let's see, OS build 14926. 1000. So let's check out the expiry date right now, Winber. Let's do zoom in for a second. Let me open up magnifier here. Alright, let's see, so we were at expiration date uh, 2017th May 1st so that's good 7:59 p.m. I wonder why they choose 7:59 p.m. that's a uh, 6 5 that's 6 5 4 59 p.m. Pacific, Pacific time where Microsoft is located where the Windows team is located so I don't know why they choose that time maybe that's time that's the time they leave work officially even though mo ma most of them stay after t over hours over time so yeah so let's check out some of the new features one of the bugs they talked about remember is uh, the lack of a calculator so if I click the calculator button it wants me to search for an app on the Windows Store. So if I do that, and your the first option is Windows Calculator. So you, that's the same case if I if I do uh, calc or if I do Windows R run calc.exe. It'll ask me to open it from the Windows Store. So I'd have to reinstall this app here. Install. And uh, and there's some updates here. So I should update update those as well. All right, now let's go to Internet Explorer. Let's see if we have the latest. So I haven't have I haven't noticed the freezing issue. So inshallah, alhamdulillah, you hope, pray to God, that they finally fix that freezing issue. So if I go to Internet Explorer, because the, my the previous build had the previous build had. Um, uh, the old patch so has the August patch let's see if this has a September fat patch included yes alhamdulillah this is great I love this now because in the past you had to wait like months so like when the Windows 10 anniversary of uh, update preview RS1 uh, insider previews or TH2 insider previews or or the like the TH1 the first Windows 10 pre-release versions uh, you had to wait like near the end of the release uh, beta cycle for the Cumulative updates and the Internet Explorer patches to be released. So, uh, like for example, uh, even near the end, like even on like uh, even several months into the RS1 Insider previews, I remember that we were still stuck at the October patch, whereas the normal stable releases of Internet Explorer had already moved on to um, like November, December, January, February, March. So now, uh, now I think Microsoft, as as they said, refractored and uh, restructured their engineering process, so they're able to. Uh, reintegrate cumul cumul cumulative updates more quickly and easily uh, to de development branch and that's great I'm so glad that's the case so there's that Bill 35 so I'm glad I'm very happy about the restructuring work they did so yeah so and let's take a look at the snooze feature here so if I go to um, Best Buy I don't even know if I have Cortana here or Amazon.com yeah, Canadians, we Canadians don't have the Edge Cortana thing, so I, I can't show you the snooze feature. So there's that. There's that gone. So, yep. The next thing to do is to delete the Windows.all folder. See you then. So, um, guys, I was mistaken. Actually, I just figured out how to do this, use the snooze feature. The last time I said that it was part, I have to wait for Cortana to appear, but that's not the case. So basically, um, the snooze feature is accessed through the tabs contacts menu. So you have to right click on the tab. I opened up Wikipedia just to, sh to show, show you an example. Say I want to make an edit on this article, but I have other things to do. So I decided to leave the tab open. That's what Microsoft said. That's an example Microsoft gave that you, you want to accomplish something on the website, but you're doing other things. So you keep the tabs open so you, you know remember to get back to it. So imagine I'm uh, doing lots of fun stuff on Google and you leave the tab open. The Microsoft, so Microsoft said that they added a reminders feature called, called snooze. So to get to it, you right click on the tab and there's a snooze option. Now guys, I think there's more new features. I don't remember seeing all these things in the anniversary update. So reopen close tab was there. Um, always there. Close tab, other tabs, close tab to the right. I don't know if refresh all and dupl duplicate were, were there or not. I can't, rem I can't remember. I don't recall seeing them. Uh, move to a new window. I don't know if that was there. Maybe it was there but I always drag the tab to a new window. Pin was new to the anniversary update. That lets you pin a specific website, unpin, to uh, Edge. So next time when you open a new instance of Edge, you get, well, no, maybe not, but you're supposed to get um, the websites you pinned. I think I have to close this site before 
opening a new instance. But yeah, the, uh, tab tabs you pin will stay on the r top left corner and will act like a pinned tile, a pinned icon on the taskbar. But the snooze feature, let's uh, basically what it does is open up Cortana and set a reminder of the website. I believe with a link to the site and as well as a screenshot. But the problem is I can't show it to you guys because when I click it, we have Cortana come up and it crashes and sometimes uh, what I notice it'll just keep keep on spinning. So Cortana will spin and keep 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 spinning in circles and it will do actually nothing. So I can't show you guys, but you get the idea, right? So I, I could open Cortana. It's not like Cortana itself doesn't work. See, hey, what's up? Like I could I could I could do stuff in Cortana. Like, how are you? Oh, it crashed. So Cortana itself is not stable. Let me see. How are you? Okay, so anything I try to make Cortana do, it doesn't work. Maybe uh, I have my settings wrong. Cortana, use Cortana to access my calendar. Why not? Um, Cortana language, maybe that's why. I'll choose the English United States. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. M maybe that's why it didn't work, right? So, let me go back to uh, settings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's tr let's try to make that work again. So click snooze. Nope. So I guess that had nothing to do with the language. Oh, it did. Uh, okay. So I don't know why it was like that, but um, until I set told Cortana to, s I asked Cortana to pick a language. It didn't work. So so now it works. Now what do you want to be reminded about? Remember to person, place, or time. The automatically they chose the website Google. So if I want to remind myself, oh, cancel. X, okay. So if I want to remind, remember Cortana, to remind Cortana to get back to this website, they have a link to the website. Remember to, I don't know, edit this article. No time, I'm, I'm not going to have any time, so save. I'll remind you to, I'll remind you, you can also see it in the reminders list at any time. Edit this article. So there you go. So I can't click outside anymore. But before I have to click X, that's I think it's a bug. So I think I go to my, uh, my notebooks and click on reminders. There, edit this article. Cool. Complete and move to history. Interesting. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. That was the new fe it's news feature in Windows 10. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe for to show your support. It really helps me out. And by subscribing, you get notified when I have the whenever I have the latest videos come up. And I plan to do, inshallah, uh, new videos showcasing new builds as Microsoft releases them. So you don't want to miss out. So thank you, guys, and have a good one.